Uh, hello scholars welcome now today in this session uh, i'll help you out to set up your remote desktop on windows machine using uh, aws ec2 instance and remote desktop connections of windows so for this uh, let us first create an ec2 instance create and launch an ec2 instance i have already as you can see on my screen i have already done it uh, here is the specification that i am using and what now i'll do is uh, i'll uh, as you uh, create an instance a uh, pem file will be downloaded uh, here i can show you that i have already downloaded the pem file uh, let me search for it my windows yeah you can see that i have already downloaded the pem file here and now what i will do is i will convert this as i am using windows I will convert this pem file into PPK file as I uh, as you can see that I have already done it using uh, putty gen putty gen. Yeah. What you have to do is you have to load this pem file. You just have to load this pem file. Uh, name is my uh, Windows. Yeah. You have to just load the pem file and uh, a key will be generated public key. and then you have to generate a private key from this i'll just move your mouse here yeah you have to generate this private key and as, as you can see that uh, here the uh, private key is generated uh, which this is the public key which will be saved in the ec2 instance and uh, this is the i'll show you where it is saved and this is the private key that you have to save on your computer this will be saved as my windows keys pair.tpk here i have already done it so i won't do it again now uh make sure that rsa was selected and now what i will do is i will log into my yeah now i'll log into my uh ec2 instance here is the uh, user i am using ubuntu user and here is the dns name of the at the rate dns and ssh is connected to port 22 as see you can see that ssh is there and what i will do is i will go to ssh and i will select auth and from auth here i will browse my ppk file yeah here and open it and let's open this now you can see that i have successfully logged into my ec2 instance now what i am going to show you is uh, the public key that uh, i have that was generated is saved here and saved in ssh uh, let me cat it you can see that this was the public key that was generated there and it is saved in this file now to use remote desktop we have to install something uh, we have to install xrdp xfce4 what we will do is let's first so let's start uh, installing all these things and then we will move on to remote desktop uh, let's this sudo apt update xrdp what actually xrdp does is uh, xrdp is free and open source implementation of microsoft rdp it actually provides you a fully functional rdp compatible remote desktop experience uh let me show you more details about xrdp as i have already installed the xrdp so it is showing that uh, my file has already been installed and uh, you can see that xrdp is a free and open source implementation and what it actually does it provides fully functional rdp remote desktop experience and it works for both linux and bsd system i'll show you this when uh, we'll uh, log in from remote desktop 
and now we have to install xfce4 so let's do that actually I have already installed it but i'll show you how to install that sudo install xfce4 what this will what this actually does it uh, i think there is some error sorry i have uh, got to adapt yeah xfce4 is also free and open source desktop environment for linux it is fast and lightweight it is visually appealing in terms of layman uh, it provides you a gui desktop and icons that you use in an ubuntu like uh, in your uh, linux desktop so we have installed it now we have to do two things we have to modify two files to make sure that xrdp uses xfce4 before that let me show you some details about xfce4 uh, you can see that xfce is a free and open source desktop environment for linux and bst operating systems xfce aims to be fast and lightweight still being visually appealing and easy to use xfce embodies the traditional unix philosophy of modularity and reusability you can uh, look by yourself on wikipedia and the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to modify the two files so let's do it echo xfce xfce for session is e ssio session let's first see what this gives us let's print the output of this yeah uh, it just gives that xfce for session now what we are going to do is we are going to redirect it to a file dot now what you have to do is you have to edit this start wm sh file and uh, let's first see that what is there actually i have already edited it i'll let you know that what you have to edit in this file the network is actually very slow i think yeah it's there you just have to edit let me show you what you have to edit in this file you just have to edit this particular line of code you just have to add this particular line of code that uh, start x start x fc4 rest let everything be as it is and just save it using ctrlnd o shortcut now we are done with everything and we just have to restart the service so let's restart the service now let's come back to ec2 instance one more steps that we have to do is uh, open the security group in ec2 instance let me open the security group and you just have to allow rdp service let's do that uh, in inbounds uh, you have to select see I actually i have already done it rdp 3389 it runs on you can add a rule uh, in a rule you will get rdp uh, yeah you can see here it is rdp here and when you select it automatically the port will be there you have to specify that uh, first uh, if you are using it at production then you might change the uh, access of it to some particular ip address or particular range of cidr block but for now i have uh, allowed it to get access from anywhere on the internet so now since uh, after doing this after adding the inbound rules you just save the rules and now you come back to your windows rdp select rdp remote desktop connection 
and here you have to add the IP address of the EC2 instance that you will get from here the IP address of my EC2 instance and uh, we can set the advanced options also like uh, the username my username was Ubuntu and uh, then let me allow to save the credentials we can select the display display is like uh, I want 60 bit or 24 bit or 32 bit let it be 32 bit display and then you can have your you can connect your local resources with the resources on the cloud like you want to uh, run a video on the cloud and you want to listen the remote audio settings from there then you can simply uh, play on this computer and record from this computer you can add these options you can allow your devices to be synced with the cloud and uh, also you can change it like uh, if you have a modern with 56 kb per second speed you can add that option uh, let it to be detect connection quality automatically and then you have the advanced options you can all set it according to your needs and now we can just connect it when we'll connect it yeah the remote is well. don't ask me this again and uh, connect it yeah power will pop up you have to just add yes and then actually then you will uh, be asked for password yeah one thing i forgot to uh, show you you have to add or you have to change the password of your uh, ubuntu user in an ec2 instance uh, i think some error occurred let me correct this error my internet is working yeah you will be popped for password and i'll enter the password of my ubuntu desktop and now it will connect to the remote desktop this is all you have to do actually it's taking it's loading slow because of my slow internet connection uh, it will work fine in your laptop thank you Hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.